spiritually yours back with another reading this reading is for the collective i'm going to hop right into it to my angels my guides my ascendant masters of divine the universe the higher power archangel michael raphael jophiel gabriel uriel metatron azarel and to my ancestors that love and care for me and want the best for me please and thank you for the clear precise accurate messages that i need to deliver to the collective at this time let's get it all right, y'all, we're going to hop right into it. Flip the rolls if need be. Only take what's yours. We're all on different timelines. And this is not gender specific. Somebody is scared to lose, y'all. This is, y'all, I feel it's a new person. I feel like this person uh, was a player in the past. Um, or they might have just hurt people and they reflected on that. And this person is scared of the feelings that they have for you um, because they don't want to be done how, how they've done others. So I feel like you're like karma to this person because um, this person has never felt like this before and they're scared to lose what they have with you. So if this is not current energy, this is a new person coming in. You're going to find this person like very insecure with your relationship with them because they're scared to have what they've done to others done to them by you especially because of how they feel for you um everybody has a past so i know some of y'all be like i don't want to be with no past player energy well um nobody's perfect so everybody has some type of past and if you get with people and you judge them on their past unless it's something traumatic or you know, there's something crazy going that went on with this person, then you don't need to move on to people because everybody's going to have something that they regret in their past or they wish they would have done differently. Um, and first card out the deck is the Knight of Cups. Yeah, they know you're a blessing to them. This person is scared to mess up with you. Um, yep, look at the bottom, Two of Cups. I'm telling you, Ace of Wands. Um... This person is going to have a lot of passion for you. It's going to feel uncomfortable for them because this person could have been non-committal in the past. So now even the thought of committing to someone and then getting their heart broken, it, it kind of has this person uneasy, but they know what they have to do. They could know that you have options or that you're, um, you can move on to someone else. So this person is, I feel like they're going to step up to the plate. I don't think they're coming in with any raggedy energy. It's just, it's going to be a burden for them with the Ten of Wands to actually commit to you and fail at this working out. Um, So this person is a little insecure i feel like you intimidate them because they they've never felt like this it's cute but it's it's gonna keep this person on their toes and i think that's what you're in their life to do is to um keep them on them, their toes and to help them work on what they need to about themselves to be in a commitment yeah this person with the four wands in reverse they're non-committal um, I'm trying to get that glare out of here, y'all. Yeah, they're not committal. So you're coming in with some type of hierophant energy to this person, and they could feel it. They know they can't play with you. <laughs> this new person, or whoever you're with at this time, this person is not going to play with you. Uh, we have the Page of Cups. Yeah, they don't want to be sorry. I feel like they're going to take things slow. Um... This person could be impulsive, so they're going to work on that to make sure that they don't have any hiccups with you because um, they love you. I feel like the Ten of Cups is going to come out. Um, it's just because this person is a retired player. Um, they might have played for the Knicks. <laughs> this person this person could be from New York or Jersey or uh, uh Washington, I'm from like really big, like big states where there's a high population. This person could have a reputation, but um, they're not like that anymore. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, they're ready to settle down. And with the Four of Swords, even like sleeping, they're having issues. 
I feel like they know if this doesn't work out, like the heartbreak is going to bring them is going to be, it's going to be bad for them. There's a lot of love here. Um, let's see what else we get. This person might have trouble sleeping if they're not in bed with you. So if you have separate lives and you're not like actually together, when you're apart, this person has a hard time sleeping. Yep. Look, the Six of Cups. Oh. This person could be liked a lot by others. Um, They could be very popular. And they could actually be nervous about you finding out something about their past. So they might hide things from you. It's not with like ill intent. But it's because they feel like you might walk away from them. Um, so this person might overgive to you. You see the flowers at the bottom. It's like too many. <laughs> it's like a bunch of them. Let me move my camera again, y'all. I can't believe this camera. So it's like this person might overgive to you. It's because they want to be reassured that you're not going to leave. Um... Yeah, the Nine of Cups, they know you know who you are. They know that you're not, um, you're confident. So you'll take your love elsewhere. Um, I'm not saying you'll just cut and run on this person, but they know they can't treat you like they've done others. So it's causing this person to be up on, like I said, to kind of almost walk on eggshells. And it's not nothing you're doing. It's their conscience. It's their subconscious telling them okay this is your person this person comes with blessings this is your end all be all your life is going to be beautiful with this person and it's almost like it's a lot of pressure on them to not crack under it <laughs> zero seven zero seven was on the timer we have the three of pentacles and it could be people telling them like yo you really got a good one here you know what i mean why am i talking like that it's a masculine <laughs> There's a man talking to another man here, your person. They're like, yo, man, you got a good one here. Don't you screw this up. Don't you mess up your blessings. Um, They got a good support system around them, too, because they got people that works with them and that's telling them the right thing here. Like, you know how you can have some people that they're around people that tell them stuff that don't even make sense. Um, We have the magician in reverse. The nine of wands. Mm, hold on, y'all. The King of Swords. The Seven of Wands. The Justice. And the Nine of Pentacles. Some of y'all going to be sitting pretty with this person. I feel like they're going to pamper you. Um, Yeah, look at here. This person is scared that they might sabotage their blessing. That they might push you away or have you walk away from them. Um, They want to... They don't want to feel this way with the nine of wands, but it's like with the magician in reverse, they feel like they've never really had someone to love. So they don't feel like they could question if your intentions are pure for them. This person could ask a lot of questions about how you feel. And it's because they're trying to reassure themselves that this isn't too good to be true. Or, um, let me see here. Hold on, y'all. I don't know if I, I feel like this person been used before. We have the high priestess here. The Nine of Swords in reverse and the Four of Cups in reverse. This person rejected somebody here. I don't like their energy. 
Hold on. Let me see if another person comes out. I'm feeling like another energy here, y'all. Page of Pentacles and the Six of Swords here. There's somebody, this person could just be thinking that you're going to reject them in some way, shape, or form here. I don't know why. Why would they think this? Why do they think this? Because they've been a player. Two of Pentacles. The Five of Swords here. Yeah, they've had, like, people fight over them. Yep, option. They have a past where... I don't know if y'all gonna be with this. This person, they've had people like, they've juggled people and they've had options fight over them. They've had multiple options. This person could have like a high body count or just like interacted with a lot of people here. Um. There's some type of communication coming here about an emperor. Happiness, the sun. Mm. There's some type of truth here they don't want you to know. I feel like their past is embarrassing to them. So they don't want you to know. This person could be very like short when you ask them questions about their past so they don't tell you anything at all and it's because they want to move forward but they're afraid something's about to come out here what is about to come out about this new person what could come out about the new person ten of cups what can come out king of wands yeah that they were a player we had the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands in reverse. That they're a retired player, y'all. They hung their jersey up. They're done with that lifestyle. But they, they feel like you're going to judge them. They're trying to be an emperor to you. The emperor, the sun, and the ten of cups. The Knight of Wands is in reverse because they don't want to date anybody else. They just have their eyes set on you. All you got to do is ignore whatever gossip and stuff you might hear. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. This, it might be some gossip here, but, I mean, it's not relevant to your relationship. It's, it's past stuff with people he didn't care about or she didn't care about with the Queen of Cups. Um, I feel like this person doesn't harbor any resentment. There's no love lost with people from the past, but it's going to come up. Somebody might come towards you. Yeah, the Page of Swords and the Five of Wands. There's somebody that's nosy that this person doesn't have any love for. They're Queen of Cups in reverse. Here they come because they know this person is going towards a new beginning. That fool towards the Ace of Pentacles. They're coming with some gossip. Some boo boo foo foo. We got the Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. This person is wants everything with you. You just got um. There's a straggler here on their side. It's not you. This person's about to come forward with something. Oh, I have something to tell you. This person. It's a Queen of Wands energy. <laughs> Here she come with a raggedy ass because this person left her out in the cold and made a decision to go forward somewhere else with the tower and bring their love to you. It's faded with the will of fortune. And here she comes with whatever raggediness she can bring to your relationship. This could be some, this could be this person's mother of their kids or just the ex person to them. Running forward with the chariot. Here they come to try to make you close out your ten of pentacles and bring some type of heartbreak to you. Wah, 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 wah. Take your sad ass somewhere else. Y'all got a, a third party coming here with something. Um, 
they could try to convince you that this person is still interested in them. It's something to cause heartbreak to you. So there's a new person coming that got a straggler here. A baby mom, I'm feeling. If they don't have children, it's just the ex. They want this person to leave you out in the cold because they're bitter and unhappy. It's just something here to make you feel like this person stabbed you in the back so you can walk away. And now this person is stuck because you left their ass and I told you how they feel about you. It could be, this is the karma that this person could be afraid of. That something is coming out to you about their past and you're going to be like the hell with this. Oh, hell no. I don't know what somebody could tell you. Um, but it's something that's going to leave a bad taste in your mouth. Oh my Lord. Yep. Look, as I say that, oh my God, some of y'all going to feel like you wasted your time with this person. Oh man. Yep. Once you get the clarity with the Ace of Swords. You might wait for another opportunity with the Three of Wands and the Strength card, the Temperance, and Wish Fulfillment. Some of y'all will walk away from your Wish Fulfillment because of somebody else. Yep, Confirmation. Y'all do not let this person make y'all feel like this is not your person. Unless this person had a baby on you. It's something... This person's coming with something crazy. I, I don't... Hold on, y'all. Boy. Ugh. <laughs> I'm so bad. I don't know if the, your person... When they met you, they was connected to this person still. So they might come with... You know, when you first met this person, I was still with them. And then... It's like a nagging voice. It's very irritating, just like this person. Um, they're coming with a piece of information that they feel like is going to put a stamp on this relationship. What does this Queen of Wands want? What is she covered to tell? Freaking snitch. What are you covered to tell? <laughs> what is this person coming to say? What is the problem? Like, I'm not understanding. What does the Queen of Wands want here? What is her motive? What is she talking about? They're not even telling me. It's probably nothing, but it's going to feel like something to you. Um, What is this here? Oh, we have Pisces. We have Fire Sign. Uh... Hold on. We have glamour spells. Spirit animal. Sagittarius. This person can have Sag in their chart, which is Aries, Leo, Sag. We have Heartbreak and Scorpio. I feel like that's Tower or the Death card here. Um... She's trying to bring heartbreak to you, but what is it? Why is it glamour spells out here? She could want to be you or be in your position with this person. Um, what does this Queen of Wands want? Like, what? Who is she to the e e e? She wants abundance, prosperity, and financial success. So she, I was going to say I thought it was about money, but I didn't want to be on that energy. But that's what it looks like to me. Yeah, I just said sad. Because she got left out in the cold. Um, 1919 on the timer. Um, I see a cheater in Love Bomb. She's going to try to convince you that this person cheated on you. Uh, we have April here. We have Misery. We have Tower. Yep, bringing Misery to the Divine Feminine. This is your Divine Counterpart. 
I just saw engagement. We have tower. It's because she's losing finances with this person walking away. She could want a new car. Celebration here. She just wants something. She doesn't want to be on the losing end of the stick. Um, I don't believe... I just hope y'all don't fall for this. That's all I'm saying. Um, now, if she come with text messages or something between them two, and there's some other stuff going on, yeah, protect yourself. Um, earth sign, head and feeling, sick. This person is going to be miserable if you walk away from them. I don't know if this is karma for them. I feel like they know something. They're sincere, though. They're part of your soul tribe. And they're asking you, this person wants to be with you. We got to stay together and true here. Somebody's watching that hates you. It's this person. Yeah, as I say that, yes. Look at y'all. It's telling a story here. I can't get this card to come. Yeah, warning. They want you to pay attention to the signs that your spirit guides are bringing you because you have love coming in. This is a new person. At the same time as this person is coming in, we have that person stalking, spying, and watching because they feel like this person is their soulmate. But there is fate. It's all about wealth. And they want to compete with you. Look at that. This person is toxic. Oh, y'all, don't fall for this trick. I don't know. This this person, this new person is going to feel like this is bad for them, too, because mentally, this has to be stressful. This person just, like, thinking about this Queen of Wands coming forward to mess up what they have with you. And I think they know that you don't tolerate conflict and confusion and drama so they're just anticipating you walking away from them. And it's not supposed to go like that. This person is a distraction. I feel like it's a karmic energy. And they're coming just to cause a division between you and your new person. I feel like before things even really get off the ground, here this person comes. <sighs> yeah, with some fake nonsense, facade and belief past lack and suffering because this past person is suffering without your person they're in lack they don't really even want your person i feel i just feel like it's the finances yeah they're not having a renewal and spark here your person your person is detached and cold to this person they're guarded and vulnerable they're guarded and they feel vulnerable because of how much love they're gonna have for you so um Distance retreat and timeout. Yeah, they feel vulnerable because they feel like you about to leave them. Some of y'all, this is somebody you're already with. They're just anticipating somebody raggedy coming forward and messing this up. This person could do this to them a lot. Offer um, unity. Just bring like drama and conflict to them. Comfort South Node Clinging, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Fate, Divine Intervention, and Detour. Fears and Limitations. See, they're going to try to not fear this, but it's going to be subconsciously bugging this person about somebody from the past that they had some passion with coming forward the queen of wands energy they feel the communication is coming from this fire side twin flame this could be your twin there's a karmic about to interfere here yep as i say about to this person will be taking action just to come in to cause disharmony, triggers, and conflict. Look at how he's worried. 
this person will ask for your forgiveness, but I feel like it's not going to be nothing that they actually did to you. It's just the conflict coming to you is going to make this person feel bad. Feminine might feel rejected, lost, and fragmented due to this whatever coming in here. Um, well, it's a tower coming. Contract, career, and commitment. It's going to make you question your union. And whether you want to be in this due to self-love creation and intention some of y'all yep just i just said if you want to if you want to be in this i feel like you're to stick together that's what you're supposed to do don't let this person come in and reflect and project nothing onto y'all relationship that have nothing to do with y'all thoughts and isolating this person is stressing lacking doubts this is what i was saying that they feel like something was going to happen to them that they did to somebody else maybe they walked away from this person due to something and they feel like they're about to sabotage this union oh my god they're going to be separated from their wish fulfillment there is karma playing out here Some of y'all, you're karma to this person. This shit weird. I'm trying to understand what it was playing out here. This person could have hurt people in the past that loved and cared for them. And they feel like you're going to do it to them and that's their karma. Some of y'all are going to leave this person. There's some tower here that's going to affect your commitment with this person. This is kind of sad, but I don't know here. I feel like it's karma. Yep, third party. It's going to receive and change, receive and open. It's going to create some type of change with that. Some of y'all will no longer be open to this person. Some of y'all, this is somebody you're with already. There's some type of truth coming out about this person and somebody else. And y'all going to walk away from this. And it's going to be karma to this person. New or old person. I mean, new or present person. There's something coming out. That's going to have you questioning this relationship. And some of y'all can feel it coming. That there's some clarity coming here. Present. Some of y'all, this is somebody you're with at this time. You're going to have to make a decision on this person. Look at the cards. Some of y'all going to feel like it's not worth it because your structure is going to be, your foundation is going to crumble when this comes in. Some of y'all are with somebody. Now I'm starting to feel like this is not a new person. Some of y'all with somebody, you're going to find out somebody had a baby by this person. Or y'all did. Some of y'all, this is past. Y'all found out this person had a baby on y'all. We have alchemy ancestors and guides here. Higher self activation. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we have freedom, leap, and opportunities in reverse. Yeah, some of y'all, this person, you about to break down. Yep, look the truth and look at the next card. Karma, balance, and justice. Some of y'all, this truth is about somebody you're with. And you're going to walk away from this person. Yeah, because you don't deal with no deception and drama and lying. Some of y'all are so sincere and you just want this to be reciprocated. And this person is something with healing in the child here on somebody's end. Because they're stuck to some type of toxicity. Some of y'all, they had a baby or had a sexual interaction with a raggedy queen of wands energy. And she's getting ready to come forward here. 
and blow the whistle. Yep, had a hot night of passion. Might have been like a one night stand where this person just, I don't know what they was thinking and they love you this much. Mm -mm. Some of y'all, this is against your morals. You're not going to stay with this person. Winter, rebirth, autumn, harvest. Yeah, this is not aligned with you. You're providing karma to somebody when you walk away from them. And it's a damn masculine. Look at there. Remember and awaken. And this person knows if you find out and you leave them, it's their karma. They already know. They just waiting for it to come. Yep, trust the divine time, but they know it's coming. You're going to release this person. Even if you planted seeds with them, because this person lied to you about something here, you're going to let them go. We have avoidance and stalemate. Yep. Nurture and compassion. Some of y'all was married to this person. And you found out some truth here about somebody from their past that they messed with here. It's in reverse. Cycles change and completion. Somebody you thought they left alone here. I feel like they didn't. And this person is just waiting for the opportunity to come in and disrupt something here to give you some type of epiphany about what happened. When this person was in their ego, shadow side, and this is assistance from your spirit guides for you to get this information. Closed off guarding and resistant. Some of y'all been dreaming of this person cheating on you or something. And that's your spirit guides trying to talk to you. They're trying to get you to see something here. Yeah, regret and repression about losing their home, family, and commitment here. Yeah, there's, this woman is very, she's a queen of wands energy, so I can see the ego, vanity, and pride. It's like, if I can't have you, nobody can. Like, yeah, I feel like this person, I don't know if they were celebrating financially with this person, but they about to blow the whistle on this. Hmm. Some of y'all, if it's a new person, they have a raggedy straggler here. That's just going to be some type of interference to your relationship. But a lot of y'all, this is past or someone you're with presently. They are, they are walking on eggshells because they know some truth is going to come out eventually about something they did here. Well, the saga begins. Some of y'all, this is your person, and they just messed up here, big time. Yep, as I said, this is your person. We got true love here. Some of y'all might choose to um to work this out here. Yeah, it's going to be intense, whatever it is. And some of y'all are getting the warnings and downloads in your dreams about this. Yep, some of y'all going to work through this time. Let time forget those scars. That's crazy. 6, 11 on the clock. Strength, yep. Some of y'all going to have the strength to forge past this. Whatever this person is coming with, it's a make or break for some of y'all. Confirmation. Some of y'all is going to make your relationship stronger. Some of y'all is going to crumble it. Depending on what you feel for your person. Link. This is somebody they might have linked up with one time. And here they come with this ragged. I'm not excusing it. But you two are connected at the soul. At a soul level. Let go. Mm, some of y'all going to let this go. And this person is going to feel so guilty about this. A new maze was coming out. Even if you feel lost, there's always a way to get through the maze. Recognition. The universe will help you recognize signs and miracles. Twin flame. Mm. Tess. Some of y'all. Um, what's that line Wale said in that song? That people, that women were coming towards him. 
to see if um, his relationship was strong. Some of y'all, this is a test to see if you're able to get past something here. Gossip, um, somebody's past. They're trying to, it could be to see how you're going to judge this person because nobody's perfect. I don't know what really is going on here. Some of y'all, it is a pregnancy with somebody else. Um, some of y'all, it's not on that grand of a scale. It's just maybe when you first started dating this person, they were dating this Queen of Wands also. Um, it's something here, but they want you to embrace your love and connection and be happy. Reconciliation here. Some of y'all will leave this person and get back with them. Because you're going to realize that this is not even worth it. Yep, yeah? emotion. Look into the depths of your emotion. The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. Some of y'all, your bond will get stronger with this. Because this person, they don't want to lose you. So I feel like they're going to like be going overboard here to make this up to you. Um, Some of y'all, it's not even going to be worth listening to. It's just like gossip. We have union and connection. Your connection is eternal and unbreakable. Yeah. Some of y'all about to prove to somebody else that your bond is eternal. So focus on things of value. It's a valuable union. So whatever they trying, it ain't going to work past life here. You're going to get clarity here that you're going to have to set boundaries about something. Um, about your love. Love can conquer everything. That's why I feel like your love is being tested with somebody. There's something trifling coming towards y'all. I feel like it has more to do with this person's past. We got past life here. So, um, I feel like you're going to get through it. Yep, study here. Let love show you how to learn from each other. Deep. Look deeply within and discover your soul purpose. Feelings. Take time to explore your emotions and emotions you are experiencing. Surprise. You may be surprised. There could be an engagement coming for y'all. This person admires the hell out of you. I feel like this is some type of enlightenment coming in towards you um, about their past. But, I mean, we all have one. Connection. You're going to get enlightenment about your connection. They want you to embrace this connection. Yes, there will be challenges. But someone's coming with an illusion here. Um, some of y'all, this Queen of Wands knows that you're not with the boo boo foo foo, so you'll just walk away, especially if this is a new person. And this is a test to see if you're willing to consider the situation carefully because there's illusions here. There's a 11 11, this is your person. Woke up this morning. I heard the TV saying something about disaster in the world, and I really wonder where I'm going. That Justin Timberlake song and um Beyonce. Beyonce. Oh, if love is all I have in this life, wait. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna have to hum it to myself. It's love and all I have in this life. Then I will be enough till the end of time. So when 
Close your weary heart and relax your mind. Cause I'm gonna love you, girl, till the end of time. The end of time, just to typically go listen to that. That's how this person feels about you. They, whatever this is, y'all can get through this. As long as it's not nothing too crazy, I feel like y'all be all right. The love that this person has for you, I feel like it's going to it's gonna be some type of enlightenment to you um, that it's worth fighting for. Spirit, your love is about to be sublimited. Sublimated. <laughs> I never pronounced that right. Sublimit, sublimated. Oh, Lord. Look it up, y'all. One more. Well, I guess they said that's it. This could be draining because I'm getting sleepy. Accept the commitment. Indication to be open to this. Some of y'all, it is a new person. Who that chair scared me? Um... I have to do different scenarios here because I don't know, like, loneliness. Some of y'all are going to be taken off the market. You're going to be in a relationship. Do not let pride get you to surrender this union because it's part of your purpose. They need you to trust in the divine. Be disciplined and don't let this person trigger you when they come in. Forgiveness is being called for here so this relationship can continue to grow. Y'all are to move on. Like I said, if it's something that you can bear with. Yeah, death, patience. Do not be so quick to end this. It's a distraction. You're supposed to have abundance with this person. Change here. And you're supposed to change this person's life in some way, shape, or form. And them yours. We have love here. We have happiness. We have freedom and we have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Don't just see it on your side. Peace, acceptance. This person, you both bring peace to each other, but there is some type of conflict that's about to come in to try to create a tower for y'all. This person, there's love, there's happiness. And do not deny honesty. So do not be so quick to believe what this person is coming in to tell you. Because some of it could be half truths or no truth at all. Balance here. There's something with karma. We have grief and we have blame. This person, if they did slip up some way, shape, or form here, they blame themselves. They're in some type of grief energy because they don't want to lose you. Some of them will. Um, oh, man. Advice here so I can let the collective go. A decision is coming. There's somebody that's trying to get you to cut out this union that's watching you. Um... They're just waiting to come in. So just know when some of y'all, when you have a new person come in, somebody's flying behind them. Excuse me, I have something to tell you. Like, nobody cares. We have the three awards in the world. Some of y'all, your ships are coming in when it pertains to love. Yeah, the four of cups. Do not close this out. Some of y'all are going to feel betrayed by whatever this is with the ten of swords. But look at there. There's happiness here. The Empress tried to come out. The clarity is still going to bring some type of happiness here. Some of y'all is bringing conflict. Um, shoot. 
it's different for everybody. Some of y'all is bringing a ten of swords. Some of y'all is bringing sun. Because you're going to see your person fight for this with the five of swords. Because they don't want to let you go. Yeah. You're going to, some of y'all are going to feel like the situation is too much and you're going to sail away here. But just know this person is your emperor, whether it's a woman or man. They're in emperor energy. And their wish fulfillment and stability. This is weird. It's like you get your person, but then it's it could be like wrong timing. This person could have, yeah, I'm feeling that's like what it could be. There's celebration here in the Ace of Pentacles. But you got to use your intuition here on whether to block out what you're hearing or leave this person hanging. Here's the Queen of Wands. You're the Empress. She knows there's love for you from this person or he. They know while dating this person, there's potential here between you two. But they're going to come in acting like this person gave to them in some way or telling you that this person did. But you're two, the both of you are a blessing to each other. The Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel just turn it in your favor with the King of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Temperance, Two of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Use your intuition. Do not listen to others. Yeah, it's what you pray for. It's the Ten of Cups. Use your intuition. Whatever this is, you know if it's too much for you to deal with. Yeah, put yourself first in the scenario regardless. If you feel like you need to move away from this, you do it. If you feel like it's going to affect your energy, your vibration, you as a person, don't. I'm, I'm not advising you to deal with something that you know you can't. That's not how that works. Whether it's going to hurt somebody or not, it could be karma to this person. Seven of Pentacles... There's, his, there's going to be history or the potential to have long term with this person. We do have Magician here and the Queen of Cups. This person could play on your, be like doing magic on your psyche or to cause confusion and illusions to you. So you leave this person. Yep, so you move forward in a different direction from your person. Yep, look, King of Wands, Page of Pentacles. There could be a child here. That's how I was feeling. Some of y'all, this person got somebody pregnant. Yeah, they gave to more than one person. Chariot, King of Swords. Some of y'all gonna move forward and cut this person out. I understand and go towards other options. You do what's best for you. Six of Cups, Strength Card. Five of Pentacles. Some of y'all can't be in this type of situation. You strong, but you ain't strong enough to deal with this. This person had a baby on y'all, y'all. A lot of y'all are not staying with this person. So, um, I don't know here. With the new person, I can't see it going that far. But with a pat, with somebody you're presently with, someone could be coming towards you saying they're pregnant by this person or it happened in the past and you left this person behind. But this person loved the hell out of you. They made some type of boo-boo, foo-foo type decision here. And I feel like it ruined their life if you walked away from them. And they know, they knew it was. After it was said and done, they knew it. This person did not want you to find this out. But they entertained somebody else here. Briefly. Because I feel like it wasn't nothing crazy. But, I mean, if you one night of passion could make a baby. So, some of y'all, this is, this is crazy. These readings are draining. Like... <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on here. I sure hope we get some new energy tomorrow. All right, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go. Later.